Hey, happy Tuesday the 21st. Um, it's yet another cold, wet, rainy day in Washington. In fact, I think that weather is supposed to kind of stay consistent for the next week or so, uh, which is going to be awesome for the Apple Cup on Saturday. Um, so, um, this morning I got up fairly early and uh, I kind of found myself getting into um, some of the classic like uh, early to mid 90s kind of grunge that I kind of grew up with. I started, I found myself like watching videos of live clips and stuff like that. Uh, um, and uh, you know, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, all that. And, um, just kind of found myself reminiscing early in the morning, uh, which I do, you know, often. When I wake up in the morning, I get, you know, kind of think about positive things and think about good, uplifting things, things that I'm thankful for. I actually sat by my daughter's bed this morning and kind of just, like, watched her, you know, tucked her in a little tighter, kissed her forehead, um, and just kind of watched her sleep for, you know, about a minute or so, and just... I felt an overwhelming sense of being thankful that, uh, of being chosen as, uh, you know, one of the guys that, you know, for fatherhood, basically, I'm, I'm extremely thankful for fatherhood, and, um, you know, some guys go through their whole life wanting their own children, uh, some guys get into relationships with women with children, um, never ever experiencing the joy that I get to feel on a daily basis. And so, yeah, I'm extremely thankful for that. Uh, that's one of the things that, you know, I will never take for granted. Um, and so that's one of the things I was thankful for this morning. Um, I was thankful for just look, remembering all the music that I listened to that, you know, it was, uh, it just kind of made me remember my childhood. So that was another thing I kind of went through this morning. And then I woke up and, uh, you know, despite it being 39 degrees and extremely early in the morning, I decided to go for a run anyway. Got three miles in. Um, you know, my, my typical route that I, I run. And um, it was cold. Um, thankfully, I had gloves on. Uh, those definitely helped. Um, it was just one of those, those morning runs that, you know, kind of sets the tone for the day. You know, it's if you can get through this, you can get through so much more. And so it's one of those, you know, those challenging runs you get that, um, you know, it's not, you, you know, I'm certainly not comfortable. You know, I'm not, you know, warm, rolled up in a blanket, feeling good. You know, mm, I love my blanket. I love my, you know, my, my pillow and all that stuff. That's never been me. Um, and so, you know, now I get to the day and, it's like I've gone through the toughest part of my day, hopefully, and you know I, I can get through another. I can get through the day without any problem. I've already gone through a hard, difficult um, three-mile run this morning in the cold, wet, rainy weather, and I can get through anything. And that kind of gets me to the topic that I kind of want to discuss today. And it's if you've gotten there, you can get yourself out of it. And there's people that try to take shortcuts all the time for you know predicaments and situations in life they got themselves into, you know. And it's not to say that I don't understand your situation. Uh, it has to do with the fact that I understand that, you know, other people have been in your position before and they've managed to find themselves getting out of that situation. They put themselves in a, in a position mentally to, to say to themselves that this is it, I'm, I'm done with it, I'm getting out of it, and that's all. You know, and then that's it. You know, they don't count the days that they were sober. They just said, this is the last day here on out, I'm not even thinking about it, and they choose life sobriety, and that's what they, that's what the life path that they, that they, they gravitate towards, you know, so like people that have poor eating habits, and that eat, you know, poorly for a while, there are consequences to that, you know, it's just weight, weight gain, you know, there's that, that little jiggle around the hips, there's that little part under your chin, you know, that when you smile, you get double chins and folds and stuff like that. You, you, you eat poorly, there are consequences. You do drugs, there are consequences. You know, you drink a lot, there are consequences. And so, I'm not saying that everything's justified. I'm just saying that there are consequences to follow those kind of decisions. And that if you got yourself into that position, you can certainly get yourself out of it. And it's not impossible. People have done it before. You can do it as well. And there's just a lot of 
I just, I see things and, you know, I am, I am very close to just getting rid of Facebook altogether. Um, there are ways to sort of, you know, control the things that I do see, um, but uh, it's just the, the constant people saying, I'm owed, I'm owed this, I'm owed that, somebody owes me this, somebody owes me that, white people are trying to do this to me. You know, and it's like seeing people that, you know, they put themselves in a predicament based on bad decisions, you know, and they try to find a shortcut to get to, you know, where they think that they deserve. You know, life doesn't give you what you think you deserve or what you are, are deserved. Life gives you what you've earned, you know, and if you, you know, chose a life of sobriety, your every decision you make on here from here on out is a, is, is a sober decision to remain sober clean and, and a healthy life, not stealing from anybody, great, that's a great thing, but you also need to understand that that kind of a decision, you know, takes time to produce the fruit of your actions, and it's not going to be right away, you're not going to grow the glorious fruit right off the bat, you know, midway through the, you know, the, the, the growing season, you're going to, it's going to take years of sloughing off the bad fruits that you're producing in order to produce the good fruits, and so... Now, I see a lot of people that are just like, I'm making all the right decisions. How come nothing's going my way? You know, and the thing is, is like, you've only been sober for like three weeks. Relax. You need to have patience. You know, it's not going to happen right away. And if anything were to happen right away, people wouldn't be choosing sobriety. You know, or, you know, it's the thing is like sobriety is a life decision. You choose to live a life of sobriety. And so, you know, waiting for things to happen right off the bat because you decided to make healthy decisions out of some certain reason why and you know for you to expect happy happiness and all these great things to come from that one decision you know it, it's not going to happen it's going to come from days and weeks and months and years of good decisions in order for something to come out of that and you shouldn't expect anything to come out of it that is good you should have faith that it will happen but it's not going to happen on your time it's going to happen when it's supposed to happen and so you know, I just see all this negativity and it's like, I just, I just, uh, it's just poor parenting, I think it is. Um, you know, parents these days are bringing up kids that, you know, expect things, um, all, the, you know, from, from very little work, you know, they, 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 they want their trophies, uh, they want their participation trophies, they want awards, they want recognition, they want likes, they want shares, they want views. They want all this stuff from doing, you know, basically the bare minimum. They're not doing the extra work. And so it's just, uh, you know, it's just like we're living in a, in, a, in a reality where these kids are just, there's, there's consequences. You know, Simon Sinek said that, you know, millennials are, you know, to, to no fault of their own, that they are just products of poor parenting throughout the years. And... And I, I think that's very true. And I think that people want a lot of things and they don't put a lot of work into it or, you know, they expect things far too quickly and they think that, you know, there's a sense of entitlement that somebody owes them something. And it's like, I, I've never felt that way. I don't think that anyone owes me anything. Anything that I have in my life, I've had to work for, you know. And I think that it should be the case for everybody, you know. People need to realize that things take work, things take time. You know, the rewards and the fruits of those labors and those decisions you make aren't going to come when you want them to come. They're going to come when they do come, you know, if it ever, you know, if ever. And so, you know, it's just one of those things that you just have to kind of to learn to accept, you know, and it's going to come when it comes. It's not going to come when you want it. It's not going to come when you expect it to come. It's going to come when it's ready to present itself for you. And so, you know, it's just a... Uh, it's just tough to deal with on a daily basis, uh, bad decisions and people wanting things right away and, you know, seeing people come into large chunks of money, burning through it, and then, like, why are all these bad things happening to me? I need money now, and now my power's going to get shut up. But it's like, you had all this money, you know, like a month ago. What happened to all of it? You know, it's just poor decision-making and uh, poor mentality. And uh, that's why I'm thankful for being the way that I am and making the decisions that I make. It's like, I don't expect anything. I do it because I feel like it's necessary. I stay sober because I think it's necessary. 
you know, I eat healthy because I think it's necessary. You know, I choose to be thankful for things because I think it's necessary. You know, not everyone's the same. I don't believe that that everyone you know, needs to make the same decisions that I do, but I believe that the decisions that I make are the are best for me. And so that's why I make the decisions that I make. You know, it's I, I run, you know, I eat healthy, I drink a lot of water, you know, I stay out of trouble, I don't go out late nights, I don't hang out and drink all the time, I don't, you know, there's just a lot of things that I don't do, I don't gamble, I don't do a lot of things, and, and, hey, you find out, I don't put myself into difficult situations that I can't handle, you know, and I put myself in uncomfortable situations like running in the rain, you know, and learning how to confront my fears and my weaknesses and, my emotions, you know, when my mother died, um, I put myself into an uncomfortable situation and I felt that. I put myself through that emotional turmoil and just kind of, you know, felt that loss. And now it's like, you know, it's, it's just one of the things that I had to, you have to deal with in life. You know, loss is a part of life. It is. And you just have to understand that it, no one's picking on you. No one's trying to make your life harder. It's, it's difficult times and situations are, are a test of who you are. And, and who you choose to become. You know, if you want to become a stronger person, you, you grieve, but you kind of refocus yourself, put your head down and keep keep moving forward, you know? And a lot of, some people don't. And, you know, they allow themselves to fall apart when they break up with somebody or they fall apart whenever something bad happens to them or something doesn't go their way and that they expect something. And it's just, it's just it's unfortunate. And some people are left to help people clean up their their messes and some people are kind of forced to clean up other people's messes so I'm not making any more messes for you know from here on out you know I made that decision a long time ago that whatever I put myself into any situation I put myself into I'm getting myself out of it you know I'm not gonna file for bankruptcy because I have medical bills I'm gonna pay that off you know because I put myself in that position because I, I avoided those bills for such a long time and so you know yeah you know, I had to pay. I had to pay a lot of money every single month to pay that stuff off, and so I'm not going to take the easy way out because you don't learn anything. If it's the easy way out, you don't learn the lessons that those difficult situations are supposed to teach you. So you go through the difficult situations, you learn from your mistakes, you grow from it, and you don't make those mistakes anymore. It's amazing what you learn by going through difficult situations. So anyway, the weather here is uh, coming down pretty hard, the rain, and so I'm going to focus on the road. So you guys have a great Tuesday. I will see you tomorrow morning.